Hello everyone, you are watching my channel Biologics 5 and today we are going to discuss the topic sewage treatment that is the topic in the chapter the use of microbes in human welfare. The sewage treatment is quite important it is related to our environment and this topic is quite important for examinations also for your CBSC exams and for your other medical entrance examinations. So let's discuss this topic. First we come to the sewage. What is sewage and how it is formed? Actually sewage is the wastewater which comes from our houses, from industries and from industries, from hotels, restaurants and this used water. This used water is highly contaminated and is known as sewage. It contains lot of toxic materials, chemicals, organic waste like human feces and lot of microbes disease causing and it can't be released into the water bodies directly. So this water need to be treated. It should be treated and that's why sewage treatment plants are required. Now we will discuss how the sewage treatment occurs. Actually it occurs in the two processes. The first stage is the primary or physical treatment. Primary or physical. Physical treatment. And second stage is secondary or biological treatment. It is called biological treatment because here microbes functions and remove the suspended solids or remove the organic material from the sewage. So in primary or physical treatment all the physical entities which is floating debris and the suspended solids in the sewage is removed through primary or physical treatment. It occurs in two processes and that is filtration and sedimentation. Filtration and sedimentation. During sedimentation all the suspended solids sediment and form the sludge. Actually sedimentation. Two processes the physical treatment, filtration and sedimentation. And this filtration is sequential. Why it is called sequential filtration? Because their numbers of bar screens are there which are arranged in the increasing order of their pore size. So through sequencer, uh, sequential filtration, physical entities, physical entities means floating debris and that includes the cans, metal cans, plastic objects, papers, dead plant leaves. All these floating debris is removed through sequential filtration and their number of filters are arranged in increasing order of their pore size. In the front they are smaller one. And Later they are bigger one. So they are in, arranged in the increasing order of their pore size. That's why it is called sequential filtration. Next come to the sedimentation. It occurred in the two chambers that is grid chamber and this settling tanks. By through sequential filtration all the removing all the floating material is removed and then water flows slowly into the grid chamber and all the pebbles, stones, pebbles, stones, small stones, sand and the soil sediment in the bottom of the grid chamber. Now this water comes to the settling tank. In settling tank all the suspended solid like organic waste sediment into the bottom and form the primary sludge and form the primary sludge and the water this water is known as primary effluent primary effluent or supernatant we call it as supernatant also supernatant so the water is known as now primary effluent or, or supernatant and the sediment sedimented part is known as primary sludge and this primary sludge go for composting or landfills go for composting or landfills and this primary effluent will now further go for 
biological treatment go for biological treatment now we come to a biological treatment this primary effluent go in the pumped into the aeration tanks these are the aeration tanks and there are microbes aerobic microbes aerobic bacteria and fungi fungus is growing a lot of air is pumped into this aeration tank for the vigorous growth of bacteria and through vigorous growth of bacteria and fungi they form the mesh like structure and that is known as flocks that is known as flocks this is a mesh like structure formed by the fungal filament fungal filament and the bacterial cells aerobic bacteria this mesh like structure is known as flocks now these flocks which is formed by the bacteria and fungal association will sediment into the settling tank this the water from this aeration tank pumped into the settling tank and these flocks sediment in the bottom of the settling tank and that is known as activated sludge this flock sediment in the bottom of settling tank and now this is known as activated sludge which contains lot of aerobic microbes and fungus this is known as activated sludge and the water which we get in the settling tank is pumped into our rivers or lakes or oceans by treating with it chemicals waters comes to these tanks where they are chemically treated and now they are ready to release so what is now ready to release into the our river lakes or oceans and different water bodies now this activated sludge we further treated this activated sludge which contains lot of aerobic bacteria and fungal filaments will go for treatment the small pot small pot small pot of this activated sludge goes into the aeration tank which is known as inoculum the small part of this activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank as an inoculum and the major part of that sludge the major part of that sludge will go into the will go into this sludge digester tanks will go into this sludge digester tanks quite important this sludge digester tanks here the role of anaerobic bacteria and aerobic bacteria which are generally methanogens anaerobic bacteria digests digest this activated sludge this activated sludge goes into the sludge digester tank where the anaerobic bacteria digest this activated sludge and form biogas form biogas which is used as a fuel and the source of energy which is used as a source of energy or as a fuel and it contains different gases like methane co2 and aqueous hydrogen sulfide so this biogas contains these gases and it is used as source of energy released by this activity of this anaerobic bacteria which are generally methanogens methanogens and this remaining sludge is dried and disposed of in landfills or oceans or applied to cropland as a compost so this is all about the sewage treatment let's discuss this topic again in the flow chart the sewage treatment involves two processes and first one is physical treatment and another was the secondary treatment or biological treatment in physical treatment there are two process one is sequential filtration another is sedimentation sequential filtration removes all the floating debris which include metal cans plastic objects papers and the dead plant material and here is sedimentation it removes all the grit soil and pebbles and in settling tanks the sediment all the suspended solids present in the wastewater sediment in the form of primary sludge which is for the used for composting composting or for landfills landfills and the primary effluent which we get in this sedimentation tank go for biological treatment it is pumped for the 
biological treatment and it is known as primary effluent. This primary effluent pumped into the large aeration tanks with lot of air is present or pumped into this tank. And it allows vigorous growth of microbes and these microbes include fungi and your aerobic bacteria. So these microbes form the flocks. Flocks are actually mesh like structure formed by the bacteria and the fungal filaments. These flocks actually reduces the BOD of the effluent and here we will discuss now what is BOD. BOD is biochemical oxygen demand biochemical oxygen demand oxygen demand or biological oxygen demand actually it is the amount of oxygen required by the aerobic bacteria for oxidizing all the organic material present in the sewage or municipal water actually so the these flocks are the bacteria and the fungal filaments which grow vigorously and reduce the BOD of the effluent that is the biochemical oxygen demand. More the BOD of the water, more it is polluted, less the BOD of water, less polluted is water. So it reduces the BOD means it the water becomes less polluted by the growth of this bacteria. These bacteria reduces the BOD, make the water less pollutant. And now, when the BOD of waters get reduced to three flocks, this effluent is now passed into the settling tanks. Settling tanks where microbial flocks allow to settle down. We can make a picture of settling tank over there. Actually, the flocks which are formed in the aeration tanks sedimented here in the settling tank and form the activated sludge. Quite important activated sludge this activated sludge is now further treated through anaerobes and this is the water which we can release into our water bodies this is the water which we can release it into the water body into water bodies released into lakes rivers and the sludge which we get is known as activated sludge this is the activated sludge and this is the water which we can release in our lakes or in rivers by chemical treatment after chemical treatment and this activated sludge is now further treated through anaerobic digestion. The small part of this activated sludge, small part of activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank as inoculum quite important step why it is pumped back small part of pumped back in the aeration tank because it allows the vigorous growth of bacteria in small time that's why it is used as inoculum and the major part of activated sludge the major part of activated sludge pumped into large anaerobic sludge digester tanks so this Anaerobic sludge digest tanks are quite important. Here, the anaerobic bacteria digest the bacteria and fungi in the sludge. This sludge, anaerobic sludge digest tank, the activated sludge it get digested by the anaerobic bacteria, and which are methanogens, quite important bacteria, methanogens. And what they release? They release biogas, produce biogas, which is used as source of energy, as a biofuel. So methanogens digest this activated sludge and form the biogas. And the remaining sludge, which we'll get, the remaining sludge is further used for composting. The remaining sludge is used for, this remaining sludge is used for composting or for landfills or landfills. So in this way, this whole process of sewage treatment occurs and we get the biogas too and the, we release the water into a water body which is less contaminated. So this is all about the sewage treatment. So friends, hope this topic is now clear to you. If you have any queries and suggestions, you can write me in comment box. 
Stay tuned with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe.